for the last 14 hours on the NS Chicago line has been really good and treating me well. Welcome back to the Buckeye State Wells. We are here at Northwood, Ohio at this evening. I would have nothing else to do. And this ethanol would have an ACE leader and a CP Jibo drone second, which is more power basically, but the NS is leading it. Whatever, I don't care. At least we're getting something. After getting the 65Q out of the siding, he would go to Chicago. Or whatever he's going towards. But I think he's heading to Chicago. But, he would get this NS333 from Detroit to Bellevue, Ohio. It's a daily train. I thought this would be just NS leading. But I see the second unit, it's off a little funny. That one that looks like a that? whole different unit that's trailing second. And now I just realized, that's a Central Man Quebec. One of the CEFX. So, those oh, ones, there's only a few of them that are Central Man Quebec. Those ones are X ones. Central Main Quebec is used to be a railroad. It still is, but these are leasers now. One of them ending up being on this 333 today. And a 333 was very cool. Now it's night time. And this is the only lights that we have here. At Northwood. Figures Junction. And we would have an NS. 273 from Norfolk, Virginia. To Detroit, Michigan. It's a dash 9 liter. It's an NS. And then. What another surprise. Just came out of nowhere. On NS. 273 is in Segative Mac, throwing second out of three, which is very, very cool. I did not expect the uh, Segative Mac tonight. If I have not said it already, NS273 is a daily intermodal from Norfolk, Virginia to Detroit, Michigan. It's a daily intermodal. It usually works around Sandusky Yard and around Columbus area as well too. That kind of depends on if they needed to work there or not. But after the Central Main Quebec unit, that would have been it. I, mean, I wouldn't get any more trains till now. The second Mac treat me very, very well to me. But, after getting this train, there would be another train for like an hour. So after this train, we decided to head out of here. Because we would do some more well fitting in the morning. At 7 o'clock in the morning.
Now we're here at Mirrorberry Cherry Street and we're here just to do some more welfare. I decided just to do some sunrise. It's because I don't do sunrise and I'm not a morning person. So, yeah. We would just get here and then we had a westbound gone by already. And not only the two minutes after I get to Cherry Street, another signal popped up for another westbound. So, this is another, basically an intermodal, but he's not going to be stopping on the main. He's going to go into the siding, which is fill off, because sometimes animals don't go into the siding. I would thought that had something else special trailing stuff on this one. I thought the trailing units were something special, but they were not. After another few minutes have gone past, we would get another signal for another westbound. Something tells me that there's a lot of trains in the morning. There's always is. Mornings and afternoons are always track to track with trains back and back but this morning was kind of busy and this is probably our third train of the morning already this is just two dash nines on a manifest to Elkhart or Chicago and Illinois this is either 35 and for Decatur but I end up getting really good shots a while now, because, well, it's, the sun is not up just yet. Still, getting some really good sunlight. Let's get this whatever train it is with the Dash 9s.
Thought, however, after getting us westbound, there wouldn't be anything for quite a while. Well, I could say that I'm definitely wrong. We would have another train, but this time it's an eastbound. First eastbound of the morning, basically. The lighting is perfect. I will show you guys the photo in a minute. But, solo AC44C6M is leading the Edamoral. I don't know what the symbol probably either 258 to Harrisburg or a Chicago to Columbus which could be 276 if you know if you guys know what this one is let me know anyhow I would thought the locomotives on this train would be it how would they have a one engine to pull a heavy load animal? That's because there will be mid DPUs on this animal as well. What's shocking is it's CSX and BNSF. The CSX is a Y3C AC44. And the other one is a BNSF Jeeva. That both DPUs would come up any minute now. Okay, it would tie down a little bit. This is perfect. As we can see, we got another eastbound. But, <laughs> the trailing fourth engine on this 16G from Chicago to Conway is another surprise that I've never thought it would come. Luckily, my friend let me use his drone and this is the drone footage that I got of 1800. Okay, I took that video very smoothly. 
16G was very unexpected, but what was unexpected seen 1800, and some of the tractors. These tractors are usually on 16G, but I haven't seen them recently. Thank you, Sam, for letting me using your DJI as many. It takes really good footage, but as I'm editing this video, I would get an update on something else. I would have a holy stone wrong, but that would all change right now. As soon as I fly this drone, it's smooth, and it's really good footage, it goes into 60 frames per second, as my drone that I used to had, the Holly Stone, only shoots to 30, which is still fine too, but I would have to do some other stuff to make the video very smooth, or whatever I have to do. After the 60G would go by, we would have another 15 to 20 minutes to kill. And we would just hang out and chill out for a little bit. Till we get another eastbound. The eastbound, however, is another intermodal. This is some perfect lighting. I'm surprised I did not take any photos. I'm very, very mad because I was going to do photos. I did not. You can see I got the drone up once again because it doesn't take me that long to get the drone up. would be leading this animal and a dash 9 would also be 12. The dash 9s are going bye bye in the next couple years because well if you can hear already the AC 44 C6 M are being rebuilt by the dash 9. Dash 9s are going into rebuild which is getting pretty boring at this point because it's like why are they getting rebuilded? Whatever. There goes a C6M being a mid DPU on this intermodal. It's a long one, I can tell you that for sure. And, um, yeah. This is also good lighting. I don't know why I didn't even take any photos. I was just more focusing on shooting video on my friend's drone.
after getting this westbound, we will get another train. It's another eastbound. There she goes my mom in the car. Anywho, we got another intermodal heading towards either Harrisburg or Buffalo, New York. Or 28P, that's a Buffalo train. And I would thought I would do something a little different, like a little pacing of it. But I just got to fly this drone. I said I need to get to know about it a little bit more. I tried it, but I failed miserably. It's just so bad. <laughs> Why did I even do it in the first place? Like, like turning the angle. It's so fast, I couldn't even do anything about it, like I just did right now. I don't know. It's just kind of too fast. This Animortal was kind of short one today. Another westbound, it's been a few minutes, like 30 minutes, and we get this westbound is a solo AT44 AH leading delay. And I don't know, this is probably 334 from Bellevue to Detroit. It's got a lot of steel coils, sometimes 334 has a lot of coils, sometimes here and there. But it's normally freight. The lighting kind of sucks because where we were, it was kind of backward. And I mean, ultimate backward. We should have went to the other side and got our westbound there, but whatever. At least it's nothing special. Like it, like there ain't anyway. That 1800 was the only special train that we caught this morning. It's like form power at least. And I almost forgot about this one. Here comes our weird DPU, which is another foreign visitor. It's a Unit Pacific SD78 that is being faced as a weird, facing eastbound. So, and that is kind of cool. I was going to get some pictures, but the drone kind of like failed on me. I find so, Sam, drone. DJI S Mini had a little bit of plop, so I'm not gonna be surprised. He got a new one, but I'm not gonna get to that point. Yeah, 
I did have some really good drone footage of it, of this westbound manifest, but for some reason it wasn't getting to the point to the 60 frames per second. It just got to um, 30 I guess, whatever, it's a drone footage, I just didn't feel like adding it to this video. After for another 30 to 20 minutes, we would have another westbound. This one's also a manifest with 4582 in the lead. That is also an AC 44C6M. Oh my gosh! It was black! What? Well, <laughs> he's just so weird sometimes. Whatever he just said, that, that was kind of weird. But, whatever, it was funny sometimes, and I did not get a lot of footage of this westbound. Basically, after we got this westbound, we would only have one more train to wait on until we have to go. And that would actually be the last train of this 14 hours of this time that we actually have seen good trains. It's not a good one, but it's an intermodal heading eastbound with a couple Jeevos in the lead. I say the last 14 hours have treated me very, very well on a, on a Chicago line. Chicago line is my favorite line in the Toledo area, basically, because, well, the Chicago line gets a lot of foreign power and also gets a lot of heritage units on it. Although, although I have not seen a lot of heritage units, but, well, sometimes I don't go out for that stuff. Anyway, this is basically the last train of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll either see you guys in the Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Wells.